So we're about a month away from Apple announcing their new iPhone 16 lineup, but I think there's gonna be more than meets the eye to that event with maybe one more thing. Let's talk about it. So a few months back, Apple decided to use the iPad Pro platform as the way to debut their new generation of M-series chip, which is the M4 chip. And now people have gone in there after the last few months, started to deep dive and kind of deconstruct this M4 chip to see exactly what it could tell us about the future of where it's going to be, what products it's going to be in, and most importantly, what it's capable of. Because from a hardware standpoint, yes, the iPad Pro is a beautiful piece of hardware. It's very thin with the new 5.1 millimeter thickness, the new tandem OLED. But when it comes to maybe USB-C ports or Thunderbolt ports or the capabilities that it has with external display support, you really can't see it at the full power because the iPad only has one Thunderbolt 4 port. And the iPadOS software, no matter what, limits the hardware to only extending to one external display. But we're learning that the M4 chip is actually much more capable than what it's giving the iPad, at least from a hardware standpoint. According to a lot of leaks and rumors that we've been seeing, it looks like Apple's gonna be using the Mac Mini as the next piece of hardware that they're gonna insert the M4 chip into. And that leads into, we might be getting a Mac Mini much sooner than expected, either during Apple's keynote of the iPhone event as one more thing, which would be absolutely amazing, or maybe in October, but it's definitely gonna be coming this year. And let's find out everything that we know about the new M4 Mac Mini and maybe even the M4 Pro Mac Mini. So first and foremost, the Mac Mini is going to have a huge reduction in size from both a footprint standpoint, a weight standpoint, and overall look standpoint because when Apple moved over from Intel over to the M series of chips into the Mac Mini, they showed off the internals and they really showed off that the Mac Mini had a ton of empty space. They probably just decided to keep onto the chassis for recycling purposes to make sure that they're using all the supply that they had to kind of wean that out of the way because it was very easy to build, they had the manufacturing in place. So for them, it was very cheap to the point where now you can get an M2 Mac Mini baseline through the education store for just $499, which in my opinion is still one of the best deals on the market. And I believe Amazon even has it for the same price. And I'll link that down below because it's still a very capable device. So Apple's finally deciding to re-engineer the Mac Mini from a visual and hardware standpoint to really bring it down to a compact size. And the rumors are that it's gonna be pretty much the same footprint as an Apple TV 4K. And now if you have one of those, they're relatively small. They're definitely less than half and maybe even a third of the size of the current Mac Mini form factor. It's much smaller. It is a little bit taller and there is rumors that it's gonna be a little bit taller than the Apple TV 4K. So we could get an actual kind of rounded off cube looking design for the new Mac Mini. It's gonna be much smaller. It's gonna fit into a much more compact form factor. And it should look like just another accessory on your desk when in reality, it's gonna be your full fledged computer and it's amazing how small these things are getting. So again, the hardware is gonna be a nice new change because the Mac mini has been relatively the same. It's kind of thinner over the years, but the kind of overall look and feel has been the same since 2010. So that's now 14 years of the Mac mini having the identical size footprint. But even though the footprint is going to be smaller, we're still gonna get a very powerful and capable machine that's gonna be ultra efficient with very low power consumption because that's what the M4 chip is there to do. And we will be getting probably the first M4 Pro chip to be installed into any Apple hardware. And what we've seen from some teardowns of the M4 iPad Pro is that the M4 chip is much more capable than what iPadOS is letting it be in terms of from a hardware and connectivity standpoint. So the first thing to expect is to get three Thunderbolt cables on the new M4 Mac mini to allow for all the auxiliary devices you want to connect to from data to display and everything in between. You're also going to get an HDMI port because you can't have a Mac mini without an HDMI port. Hopefully it's an HDMI 2.1 port, but we'll see exactly what they give us. And then finally, of course, we're going to have the actual power port to make sure that we have power to the machine. But comparing the M2 to the M4 chip in terms of a teardown and what it's capable of, the M2 Mac Mini only allowed for two Thunderbolt ports because it's only had two Thunderbolt or USB-C controller ports to begin with, versus the M4 actually has four of them in there, and we're only able to see this because of the teardowns. So again, if you, that is a capability, you're probably asking why they're not giving us four Thunderbolt 4 ports, and that's because we think they're gonna have a built-in SD card reader as opposed to having a four Thunderbolt port, which will be amazing to see because that's one of people's favorite ports, especially on the Mac Pro, to have the little SD card reader on the front to be able to quickly access it, remove, add, or whatever you need to do with any SD cards will be a game changer for a lot of people. So definitely expect three Thunderbolt ports and then perhaps an SD card reader on the new Mac mini. Another beautiful update that we saw to the M4 chip that we weren't able to see because of iPadOS was that we're actually gonna get a new display controller, meaning that we're gonna go back to the old days of the Mac mini being able to support up to three displays. As of right now, the M2 and the M2 Pro Mac mini can only support up to two external displays. Unless you do some stuff with Display Link, but natively, you can only support up to two displays. So now the M4 Mac Mini should support up to three different external displays natively. Now, that remains yet to be seen how they're going to be 
connected, if it's going to be via all the Thunderbolt ports, a combination of Thunderbolt and HDMI, or if you're going to be able to daisy chain them, but it will support natively three different displays, which is going to be great for the Mac Mini form factor. So I can just imagine all these funny pictures of having maybe three 32 inch 4K or 5K displays with this tiny little box in the middle of it all kind of controlling and powering everything. Now some other changes to possibly expect are going to be some color choices. Apple stayed with that same silver color for years now. They did have kind of like a matte blackish version or like a space gray version once. But now we might be getting a new space black version as well as maybe even some color matching iMac colors. So we know that the iMacs come in all these vibrant colors in this pastel colorway with the yellows and the blues and the grays and things like that. So Apple might be bringing that over to the Mac mini to kind of insinuate that same playful nature of being able to just have this in any setting, to be able to have this in fashion studios, but also have this in maybe classic classrooms and being a dedicated classroom computer or maybe the computer to be dedicated for the house and things like that. So again, bringing more colors over to the Mac Mini is always a great plus. Again, no actual benefit from having it functionally, but more color choices are always a plus to have when it comes to deciding on what products you want to end up buying. And then of course, Apple's been able to kind of shred the price of all these Mac Minis because they also just stopped including any sort of auxiliary devices. You no longer get keyboards, you no longer get the mouse, of course you don't get a display. So you're literally just buying the power cable and the computer itself. But we also believe that Apple's finally going to revamp their accessories because I find it hard to believe that Apple's going to sell a brand new computer with the same old accessories from years past that charge via lightning. So definitely maybe take into account that you'll be able to buy a Magic Keyboard with USB-C and Touch ID, the Magic Mouse with USB-C, as well as the Magic Trackpad with USB-C, which would be amazing. Again, that bundle is going to be probably $2 to $250, so it's going to increase the price. I'm always going to recommend maybe buying a cheaper third-party type of keyboard and mouse solution if you are looking to save money with a product like the Mac Mini, but Apple should be kind of introducing the new USB-C version of all its main peripherals. And now let's talk about price because the price can kind of go any which way. As of right now, like I mentioned, you get the current M2 Mac Mini baseline version on Amazon for $499. You can get the education version of it for $499 directly from Apple. Again, the retail version is $599. So again, Apple has been wowing us with the price point of the Mac Mini. And I think it's because we reached an inflection point with the M2 and M2 Pro that they were using and reusing the same hardware so they were able to cut costs and again the chassis were smaller they had the manufacturing processes in place but i still think apple is going to be able to offer this brand new m4 mac mini for the same if not less when it comes to the actual price point it should still have 8 gigs of ram standard although there have been rumors that maybe the new baseline is going to be 12 gigs of ram because the m4 can support that but that remains yet to be seen but if the standard is still 8 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of internal storage i think apple can offer this for 499 dollars again it's not going to come with any keyboard or mouse or display you're gonna have to spend extra on that whether you go with apple or not but for 500 dollars a brand new m4 mac mini is going to be a game changer for a lot of people and then also it's going to reduce the price of a still very well and functional useful device of the m2 mac mini you can probably get that for like 299 or 399 especially on the secondhand market but that is just my two cents i actually believe it's going to get a little bit cheaper and that's going to be the big wow factor of the mac mini when it comes to apple being able to sell this and market it to us but that is what I think when it comes to the M4 Mac Mini. I definitely think it's going to be coming out this year. It's just a matter of will it be announced alongside the iPhone as a one more thing? Will it have its own separate event in October? Or will it just be released with a regular press release like Apple's been doing with some of its other accessories and hardware products over the past couple years? But that'll do it for this video, everybody. Let me know what you think with a comment down below. Always excited to discuss when new products are on the horizon, especially when there's new product changes when it comes to the actual visual, the footprint, the actual look and aesthetic of something that's been exactly the same pretty much since 2010. But if you made it to the end, everybody, Buddy, leave it a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. Definitely consider becoming a channel member to get some of the awesome wallpapers that you guys continue to ask about. We supply brand new wallpapers on a monthly basis. Shout out to Michael Bauer for creating those. They're absolutely amazing. But if you guys want to watch more videos like this one, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace. The M4 Mac Mini is going to sell like hotcakes, especially during the holiday season.